Welcome to US Family Point. Today's topic is uh, primary sclerosing cholangitis. Uh, this is a very important topic for US Family. Uh, let me start with this uh, uh, topic. Uh, below you can see the ESCP. That is, um, this is the best diagnostic test for uh, primary sclerosing cholangitis. Okay, so let me start with this. So let me start. Let me brief you with the pathology because this is very important topic for. Uh, um step to ck and step three so usually we don't know the pathology so it makes us difficult to understand the um clinical features so let's start the pathology is the inflammation and subsequent obstruction of the bile both at intrahepatic and the extrahepatic okay this is very important point clinical findings remember Usually, the, uh, in US, they give the history of recurrent episodes of cholangitis. This is very important with uh, progressive bilateral scarring and obstruction. Chronic fatigue. Chronic fatigue is very important. They give the history of chronic fatigue. Severe jaundice with intense itching. Severe jaundice with intense itching. Intense itching could be seen in the primary biliary cirrhosis. Uh, if you are getting confused with the primary biliary cirrhosis, just play my video of primary biliary cirrhosis. You will come to know how do you differentiate, how do you differentiate from a PBC to primary sclerosis and cholangitis. Okay, the other thing is a malabsorption. Malabsorption, uh, especially there is a uh, decreased level of fat soluble vitamins A, D, E, K, uh, and the patient will have statoria that is especially for passing of fat in the stool due to biliary obstruction this is very important findings okay other signs of cirrhosis he can come into the later stages of his uh, life uh, the haptomegaly can be seen portal hypertension as any cholangitis blah 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 dark urine and everything okay associations in your family what do you give usually look for this they give the history of a patient if they, if they mention they will mention the weather, the, uh, there may be history of uh, Crohn's disease in the family or he is suffering from Crohn's disease or he is a patient of ulcerative colitis and sometimes more tricky will be they will give chronic history of diarrhea this is very important they will just give the chronic history of diarrhea and they give signs and symptoms of uh, primary sclerosis and cholangitis so you need to diagnose as primary sclerosis sclerosis and cholangitis in PBC, most of the patients are asymptomatic in your family. They are asymptomatic, just they come and you see the elevated alkaline phosphatase. But here you don't see, you see the signs and symptoms. Okay, the best test to diagnose is ERCP endoscopic retrograde cholangiopancreatography. How it is done? The tube is passed, it goes up to the, there's a duodenum, the dye is injected and it shows the um, structures passing through the dye. It shows the beading. This is very important. Sometimes they give the beading of the both intrahepatic and the extrahepatic bile ducts. Okay, remember, this is very important part. Liver biopsy is not the most accurate test. This is very, very important because sometimes they will ask them what is the most accurate test to diagnose this disease. Don't go for the liver liver biopsy because in PBC you go for liver biopsy. Primary biliary cirrhosis, the best diagnostic test is liver biopsy. Remember, okay. Treatment, how do you treat? Asodial, same treatment, even though the same treatment, asodial, virus is sequestrants like cholesterol mine, same. Vitamin supplement is very important because he is losing A, D, E, K, fat soluble vitamins, okay? The definitive, the best treatment is liver transplantation, okay? This is very important, you need to remember this, okay? 15% um, of these patients are... Uh, risk for development of uh, carcinoma of uh, biliary system this is very important okay so thank you so much for watching my video please let me know by commenting by liking and by subscribing and please subscribe to my channel for more videos thank you so much for watching my